Hi, welcome to Infront Consulting Group. In this quick demonstration, we're going to walk you through how to go about deploying System Center Operations Manager 2012 agents through the Operations Manager console. What we have here in front of us is a look at the Operations console. We're focused on the administration node. So at the bottom left hand corner of your screen, the monitoring, authoring, reporting, administration, and my workspace um, options are called nodes in Operations Manager. We've selected administration and under device management, we can right click and select discovery wizard. We have a number of options in the discovery wizard. With operations manager, as you can see, we have the ability to discover Windows computers, Unix, Linux computers, so obviously non-Windows. This does not include Macintosh computers, but it does include a, a variety of different flavors such as um, your uh, Red Hat Linux, your SUSE Linux, your Solaris, uh, and, an, and AIX, and a number of others. And then finally, SNMP network devices. So through the SNMP protocol, we can discover really S any SNMP enabled device, not limited to a network device. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at discovering Windows computers. So we'll click on Next, and now we have to choose how we want to discover and what we want to discover. So in my case, I'm going to have all of the systems that are discovered and that I deploy an Operations Manager agent to report back to my Operations Manager management server. It's called MMS SCOM01 in my infront demo.local domain. Now, if we had multiple management servers, which is a good best practice and rule of thumb, then you'd be able to select the management server here. This is a really important option because the management server that's selected here becomes the primary management server for the agents that we're about to deploy. So because I have only one, it's less of an issue for me, but in a larger environment where you may have two or three, you want to make sure you choose the right one. Now, should you forget to choose the right one, you can always move an agent from one primary management server to another. Very simple process to do. We won't be looking at that in this demo, but here we'll look through the deployment. So I'm going to browse my Active Directory looking for servers and clients. I could simply look for servers or I could only look for clients. I'm going to choose both and I'm going to click Next. Now in my case, I wouldn't normally do this in a large enterprise environment, but because our lab environment's fairly small, I'm going to select to just do an LDAP query or perform an LDAP query looking for really any match in the infront demo domain. If there was just one computer that you wanted to deploy an agent to and you knew the name of that computer, you could select this option, type the name in this dialog box or browse for the machine and just select the one machine. Now, because of the account I'm logged on with, may not have the privileges required, and my I'm not sure if my management server action account has the privileges required for a discovery. I'm gonna type in my administrator credentials here and then click discover. Oh, and I have to type administrator correctly for that to work. Uh, here we go, let's try. There we go, and discover. So thankfully it tells you. Now you can see we've got uh, a good set of systems returned to us here, but not all of these do I want to deploy an agent to. So I'm just going to select a handful of these and by browsing through my list I'm going to pick and choose from the different systems that are out there and available to me. And when I scroll down through here I'll select a number of these, a bunch of my different web app servers which I've just deployed into a new web farm that I want to begin monitoring and we'll do these as well. Um, there we go. So just go about selecting all of the systems that are of interest to you and actually I'm going to deselect these because I've deprovisioned those. It was the other web apps that I'm interested in. And now we'll choose between two modes, agent and agentless. Agentless really shouldn't be a choice. It's there for very unique situations. We always want to deploy an agent because SCOM is an agent-based application. This is the default directory where it's going to get deployed to. It's going to run as local system on these 15 agents that are to be deployed. We're going to click finish. What that's going to do is it's going to kick off a task in Operations Manager and that task will add a, a deployment, will add deployment subtasks 
for each one of the systems that we've selected to deploy an agent to. So here we can see a list of all 15 of those systems and it's going to then start the deployment process asynchronously and start pushing out agents to each one of the systems that we've selected. We're going to watch this as it completes and we'll come back and revisit that as we've uh, come to completion to see if there have been any failures in this. And there we have it. The agents have deployed successfully for the most part. We have three failures in the, uh, the 15 that we attempted to deploy, which isn't a bad average. We can see that uh, on some of these, we can get an error code where we can do a search to help us identify what the cause of that was. But in a lot of cases, we can also find that information from the error details in the description itself, as well as looking at the agent log for installation. So we can check that out to see why it ran into problems. And you can see where that Windows installer log file is located um, so that you can quickly drill into that. So that is how you can quickly and easily deploy agents in Operations Manager 2012 to Windows clients. So that's what we've covered in today's session. If you're interested in any additional information on what uh, we have to offer as a consulting organization, you can find that at infrontconsulting.com. We're a company that focuses in system center training, consulting around system center and operational processes, as well as software development, the development of management packs and integration packs for operations manager and orchestrator. Also, look to follow us on LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. We've got a lot of great information up there, and that's where you've likely seen this video. We are a gold certified partner in virtualization and gold desktop, as well as now systems management, and we're a learning partner. So if you're looking to cash in any software assurance vouchers, we can do that with our training, as well as some of our consulting packages where we can accept Microsoft software assurance vouchers. So look for us on the web at infrontconsulting.com.